every single week, Lady Ada, Adafruit, and DigiKey brings you the great search. It's Lady Ada using all of her engineering capacity, capability, and ability, and more to use the DigiKey search engine on DigiKey to find the part she's looking for, and she shows you how to do it. That's right. So what's and, this week? All right, so this week I am making my Coral TPU USB stick, and I want it to plug right into a motherboard so I can get like that sweet, sweet USB current without having a cable in between. Also, it's nice and compact. I just like to plug in. And I want to show a couple different USB type A connectors. Um, USB A connectors, like we did DE9s, I think last week or the week before, um, which I call DB9s incorrectly. There's so many weird variations um, of USB connectors. It's really good to know about them and page through them because um, there are some standard ones, but there's a lot of variations, a lot of, of variability in the market that could help solve a problem. Like I, when I, while I was prepping for the great search, I found some connectors. I'm like, I didn't even know this was available. That's pretty cool. So let's go to my computer and we'll show what we're, what we're doing. So I want a connector that's basically this one, which I've, I've used in a couple designs. It's a USB type A plug. So it plugs right into a computer. Um, if you have a Mac, you know, modern Mac, you probably have USB type C. We'll maybe in the future do USB C type plugs. But for now, I really like these um, USB A plugs. They're extremely common. They're, you know, it's, it's a very like USB key, USB disk drive, self-explanatory usage. Um, and you don't need a cable, you just, you just plug right in. So um, one thing to note, of course, is, is you, this is for USB 2 only. The device I'm using is USB 2 only. There's data plus, data minus, ground and power. Um, so there, you know, it's different if you want to have, th there are versions for USB type 3, sorry, USB 3.0 type A, uh, but we're gonna be looking for a type A USB 2.0. So many versions of USB. Okay, so on to DigiKey, and then we're gonna just type in USB connector because that's a good place to start. Um, why didn't I type in type A? Because like whenever I have something where it's it's going to be very quick to um, select it, I actually usually just leave it off and I go straight to the category and then I filter within the category. Um, so there's a lot of variable, you know, there's weird categories and adapters and connectors. Again, USB is kind of like a catch-all for so many different power and data transmission schemes. You're gonna, whenever you look for USB stuff, there's gonna be a lot of categories available, like a speaker that's USB. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with, of course, only active, cause we're specking for a, a design and something that's normally stocking. Um, and then USB, it's interesting, USB, DVI, and HDMI connectors are all in the same category. And I kinda understand why, it's like, this plug and socket style, you know, cable connector. However, um, that means that we really, we want to quickly pare down what we want from within this category. Um, so what's nice is that this is, well, nicely divided. There's micro, A, A, B, mini, um, USB, A, 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 B, and C. So we want, let's just at least pick out the A's so we can minimize what we're looking at. And um, yeah, like I definitely recommend, you know, they, DigiKey used to have like a paper catalog. I don't even think it exists anymore. I think they've, they've stopped sending it um, because it was just so, like they couldn't keep up. But one of the nice things about the catalog is you could page through it and look at the photos and get an idea of like, like did you know that such a thing existed, this like combo AC connector? I didn't, not until I just moused over it. So sometimes when you go into a category, you know, I, sometimes I go straight to the, the product I want, but sometimes I like to go to the category and then just kind of like mosey around. Like we can't do that in stores right now. If you go to a store, like they're like, get in, get out, because there's a line outside for this cheese. But online, you can look in, at the images as long as you want. So um, for example, this kind of cool 3.0, like, like launch mount connector is cool and then there's stacked style this is kind of neat you, you know usb a on top c on the bottom this is like a usb mullet i guess i don't know two for this is like a nice strong like sealed jack um this is neat this is a usb socket that goes up and um this is the 3.0 version there's like all sorts of like right angle non-right angle but anyways you want the plug 
So um, let's go down here and then pick plug because we want something that plugs into a computer. And you'll see that really quickly reduces um, the number of entries. Um, next up, we want it to be, this is actually something that's interesting. So there's this panel mount through hole, surface mount right angle, surface mount right angle through hole and through hole right angle. And you're like, okay, like why does it say surface mount and through hole and then surface mount through hole? So let's select all three and I'll show you. That's something to watch out for. Another thing is um, because I'm only using USB 2.0, I'm not using USB 3. I'm going to pick number of contacts for because again, I don't need all the other super speed contacts. I just need power ground data plus data minus, and I don't want any sort of stacked things. So this is going to give me only the USB 2.0. Um, so when you're getting these connectors, and this is something that I've learned very quickly is if you want to go with the, like the, the uh, surface mountain through hole headers I was talking about, earlier in Desk of Lady Ada, surface mount headers are, and surface mount connectors are easier to manufacture in the process because you can pick and place them. And so whether you're, you know, matter what quantity you're manufacturing, or even if you're doing small, large, whatever, to reduce your manufacturing complexity and cost, not total bond cost, just the manufacturing process cost, you want to pick surface mount usually. If you have surface mount components and you have surface mount connectors, they all can go through one process at one time and it's like kind of easier. But if you are looking at your total bomb cost and manufacturing cost, through hole connectors are going to usually be cheaper than surface mount. And if you have a through hole process, then the mechanical strength will be higher with through hole components. That said, there's this like mix and match type connector. So this connector is through hole, through hole. So you see that there's like the, the four legs coming down. Those are through hole because they're like, they go into the PCB. And then you see that there's like the mechanical connector side pieces and those are through hole. So this has to be selective soldered. You're not gonna be able to surface mount, place this. However, there's also, let's look at the surface mount only. So surface mount right angle, there's a couple options. This is actually not, this is actually a true surface mount. Hold on. Maybe because I only picked, let me try the surface mount through hole. Let's see if I can get it to come up. I actually just think for the type A, they don't have it. But um, for example, this connector, and let's go to the 360 so I can show you, because the angle is always tough. So this one is combo. This one is, it has surface mount pads, right? They go straight out and then they have this through hole mechanical connection. And for this connector, you would probably, I, I don't think they even make a version that's pure surface mount that has the, the mechanical connections splayed out. Um, however, you'll see that for um, USB type A, uh, micro, B and micro and mini A, uh, sorry, mini B, micro B, and um, you'll see it for the socket version of the type A connector, but not the plug version. And for those, you'll need like really big pads for the mechanical connection. And there's usually four of them. And it's kind of iffy. Like I've definitely seen more connector failures due to surface mount USB connectors than any other connector. Like it's, they get really wrenched. Like people are like plugging it and twisting it. And so if you're going to do a surface mount connector for your USB, um, try to at least get it be 50-50, like have the mechanical part, the mechanical tabs be through hole and the pads be surface mount. And you can process this in a surface mount pick and place line, you just put like a lot of solder around the connector. So I'll actually show that on the overhead with my micro B. So let's go to the overhead because I can, I have this handy anyways. So on this micro B connector, you can see that the pads, the five pads on the center there are surface mount. But then the mechanical connection, these four pads, I make 
four really large through hole pads and you see they're like mechanically quite large and then when they're pasted over in the silk screen you know the sorry the um the the paste deposition process a lot of paste gets put on them so that when they get soldered through the um uh oven you see you get a lot of paste and you get a lot of mechanical strength so these are not selective soldered or hand soldered there's just so much paste left from when it was um, silk screened on that it creates a very strong mechanical connection and phil is um my uh mechanical tester yeah. i give him the connector and i give him a cable and i say try as hard as you can to break it off and he eventually does but usually the whole pcb delaminates which is what you want um so that's just something to watch for if you do surface mount surface mount instead of surface mount through hole connectors if you're doing surface mount surface mount you have to have some enclosure or other mechanical thing that's going to hold the connector flat against the pcb or it'll just wrench right off that happens all the time and then the the product is destroyed because you can't rework a ripped off smt connector like that so um that said all right so sorry we, we got distracted there so that said um in this particular case i'm not going with a surface mount uh usb type a i might change my mind but for right now i'm gonna probably stick to the through hole through hole like both parts are through hole so i'm going to select just that one and there's not a lot of options here um but there are a few as so you can see they you know they basically all have this style where there's this you know two pads connecting and then what's interesting is actually there's this notch that holds up against the pcb that gives it a little bit more mechanical strength as well um so that's another thing where you know you can't pick and place this particular connector you really do have to hand place it and then selective solder it but there's a couple options. Um, another thing I, I do recommend watching out for with USB connectors is there's many sort of standard, like they're obviously it's standardized for the plug and then the contacts and the mechanical connection are, are usually very close, but you'd be surprised what looks to be identical. Like these all look identical. The location of that mounting tab and its size, it can be slightly different between different connectors. And so when you think of these as like, oh, I need to find, make sure I have some alternates in case the one I'm using is out of stock, really make sure you get samples of all the ones that you think are alternates and like mechanically try them in a board. Because many times I have, you know, received like, oh, this is an alternate or it'll be suggested, you know, oh, this, you can use this connector instead of that one. Um, or somebody will, you know, we once worked on a board where um, somebody, uh, used a connector and it wasn't available at DigiKey and they just looked at the photo and were like, oh, this looks like the closest one. And we bought a thousand of them and it turned out that the legs that were the mechanical strength, you know, connection were just like one millimeter farther apart than they should have been. And so we had to like delay all our manufacturing until we found the matching part. So it, it's definitely something that has bit me a couple times. Also look at the uh, mounting nubs. Sometimes there's little bumps on the bottom to help locate the connector sometimes they're there sometimes they're not sometimes they're a certain distance apart sometimes they're closer or farther so these things even if the connector itself is standardized those things will vary from part number to part number that said um thankfully uh you know these i've used this part so i have um a version available and you can see there's a couple options like this one from cnc tech has like 25 thousand available um the connector i ended up uh using because it's got a low price and it worked quite well and it has this nice goth plastic is uh this one the cui devices up to ah1th i like cui and um i do recommend when you get connectors what i like is this 360 view uh can really save you a lot of effort and confusion looking at like for example you can see here Hold on, maybe you can see here, there are these two mounting nubs. Just barely, maybe I can zoom in, there you go. So you see that there's these two mounting nubs. So watch out for those. Make sure your design accounts for these mounting nubs. Um, they add mechanical stability, they're very handy, but if they don't match the holes in your PCB, 
they're not going to fit, they're not going to work, and your whole line is going to be delayed. Very sad. So um, only thing to watch for is that. Make sure you download the data sheet and check your uh, PCB layout package against all nubs, mounting holes, cutouts, etc. So that is my tips and tricks for USB-A connectors. That's great search this week. Yes. Where is